It snuck on me quickly. The holiday season, it is already here. Of course, it's a great time to get together with family. But if you're trying to eat healthy over the holidays, it can be hard to balance indulging in some holiday treats while sticking to your health goals. Lisa Murez is a registered dietitian from Virginia Hospital Center, and she has some holiday health tips to help get you through the festivities with mind and body intact. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Kristen. Nice to be with you. Nai, thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is something that's on so many people's minds as we're gearing up. Maybe they're visiting family, friends. What tips do you have for eating healthier this holiday season, but also still being able to enjoy the festivities? Absolutely. Yeah, it can be a really challenging time of year, particularly if people are working toward weight loss or trying to just be healthier overall, and suddenly we've got food everywhere. Um, I'm going to say something that's really cliche for a dietitian, but start with vegetables. One thing you've probably heard is to try to make 50% or half your plate vegetables, but start with them. A lot of times we fill up our plate with some of those, you know, delicious starches, the mashed potatoes, the mac and cheese, and then there's no room for the vegetables. Put the vegetables on your plate first, and that way you're going to make sure you're getting off on the right foot from the very beginning. That's really smart because if you start with mashed potatoes and then you don't have room on your plate, you're like, ah, I don't need the vegetables. But if you start with the vegetables, you will make room for those uh, other treats. Now, you know, for many people, the holidays can be a very stressful time of year between all of the gift buying and uh, hosting and cooking. For people who are stress eaters, how do they avoid that and stay balanced throughout the next few weeks? Oh my gosh, right? There's so much stress right now. I mean, we've got everything from the pandemic to, you know, getting together with relatives that maybe we haven't seen in a while. So it, it can be a really stressful time. Um, I think it's best to try to manage your stress ahead of time. So that might be thinking about some stress management strategies that work for you. Um, some people find prayer helps, music, um, sometimes journaling can help it. I think it's even a good strategy to set up some worry time where you think about all these things that are stressing you out and causing concern and just figure out, okay, how am I going to deal with this? I'm going to just, you know, build in this little extra time. Sometimes doing it during exercise can be a really good strategy because you know, you've got all these stress hormones going and you're tamping them down with the exercise. So thinking about just ways I can manage the stress and not let it take over. I often recommend to my patients, make a list, write it down, post it in a prominent place, maybe on the refrigerator. So when you're tempted to go and grab that bowl of ice cream when you're really feeling stressed out, you might look at your list and say, oh, you know what, I can maybe go for a walk or I, I maybe I'll listen to some music and that might be a better strategy for me. So to have those front and center. Yeah, I know that's a, those are really great tips. Uh, one more tip for people who, you know, with family members, they might have family members who are critical about their weight or critical about how much they're eating or not eating. How does someone walk into that situation still being able to hold true to what they're trying to do? Yeah, I think similar to the stress management techniques, doing a maybe a visualization type of exercise. Think about how you're going to react when your mean cousin starts making those comments about how much weight you've put on over the past year and a half. And how are you going to react? Practice it. it. Makes you come across as more confident and more able to handle that situation. Um, the other thing I would think about is to make sure that you've got some other options. If someone's trying to push that extra piece of pie on you. Think about asking for maybe a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. A lot of times people are trying to show some love and that's just another way to allow them to do that while you can still straight, stay true to your goals. Yeah, and this has been a tough year. So I think a great piece of advice is just love yourself. Be kind to yourself this holiday season. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure.